Hello. What we have here is a ballast system based on a vented ballast tank. It consists out of a ballast tank, a snorkel, water pump, electronic speed controller and of course a battery pack. To control the pump we will use a servo tester instead of a radio as it's smaller and um, I will explain you how this thing works. Alright, so if you want to submerge your model you simply turn on the pump, the pump will fill the tank with water and the air instead of being trapped and compressed here will escape through the tube and through the snorkel. The snorkel is a thin tube which should be hidden somewhere between the periscopes and the antennas on the model's tower. It should have a very very thin hole. This one in particular is only one millimeter in diameter. So okay, let's submerge our model and we need to fill up the tank. Alright, the tank is now full and um, we want to, and our model is uh, submerged. So now we want to surface the model and we have to deal with two scenarios. The first scenario is the easier one, is that you are running your model on periscope depth and the snorkel is above the water surface. In this scenario, when we will turn on the pump, the pump will pump out the water and the air will get inside again uh, to equalize the pressure. That's an easy uh, scenario. But what if we have parked our model on ground, it doesn't move, so the snorkel is under the water surface? Well, in this scenario, when you will turn on the pump, the pump will start to empty the tank, but at the same time, the water will get sucked through the snorkel inside. But because this hole is only in one millimeter and the water inlet and outlet is four millimeters, it means that the pump will be able to empty the tank quicker, faster, then the water will get inside again. To show you this, I have a second bowl of water and we need a little weight for the snorkel and we will put the snorkel underwater. Okay, so now I will start to empty the tank and you will see that I was able to empty it in around half of the tank. This will allow our model to surface enough that the snorkel would break the surface again. The model would not have a correct water line yet, but as soon as the snorkel will breach the surface, the air will get sucked again and the pressure will be equalized and we will be able to empty the tank completely. So I will show you this now. You see? And now we are emptying it completely. Alright, so this is one way of dealing this, but there is also one better way to deal with this. Let's turn it off for a moment. I will take out the snorkel out of the water. Let's put the bowl away. Let's dry it a little. So, instead of this tube, we can use something which is called a solenoid. This solenoid is controlled by an Arduino and you can connect it to your radio receiver. So in our case, we will connect it to our servo tester. And first I will show you how it works. So let's connect a receiver's battery pack for a moment.
All right. So the red LED, when it's off, it means the solenoid is closed. As soon as I move the uh, servo tester from neutral, it will open the solenoid. Right? Okay. And the other direction. So it opens the solenoid immediately after I just touch the dial. This is not what we want. We want it to open after we reach a certain threshold. So now it's about 5 degrees, but we want to open the solenoid at about 90 degrees. This will allow us to turn on the pump, not at full speed, at about 80%, and the pump will pump out the water, half, something like half of the water, with the solenoid closed, creating an under pressure in the tank. This will again allow our model to breach the surface with the snorkel. As soon as the snorkel will mm, breach the surface, it will be able to suck the air and will be able to uh, empty the tank completely and our model will regain the correct water line uh, immediately after. So, to set the threshold, we need to mm, adjust the Arduino with this little potentiometer here. So let's do this now. Let's try this setting. We are in neutral. Oh, it's almost 90 degrees, almost. So a bit more. So it's 90 degrees now in one side and 90 degrees in the other. Okay. So Let's connect it. We connect the solenoid to our snorkel tube. We can disconnect the battery pack as we will be using the built-in battery eliminating circuit. Let's turn this on. We need to fill up the tank first. So the tank is currently full and now I will empty it about halfway with the solenoid closed so the LED will be off and at some point I will move the dial all the way so the solenoid will open. And this is how it works. Let's do it again. Okay, and now empty it. It's more than halfway empty, almost all of it. And now it's empty. Okay, so that's all. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. So I will try to answer them. And thanks for watching.